Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to fall. It's about time. Um, finally getting some cooler weather and man does it feel great. Had to bust out the flannels, but I uh, just wanted to say hey and let you know that today's video is going to be a little bit different. I've never been a guy that follows trends and I'm also not a guy that is a one brand type of guy. Uh, that being said, uh, I do shoot on Sony and I have had Sony for years and I absolutely love it. It serves the purpose that I need and I can do what I want with what I have. I don't need a specific camera to make me a better photographer. I honestly, I just need to be a better photographer. The gear shouldn't matter with me. So on my recent trip out west, my buddy Dylan dangled the Fuji X106 in front of my face. And at first I hesitated. I don't need this. I don't have to shoot on another camera. I'm happy with what I got. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought, you know, it, it shouldn't be the gear that defines who I am as a photographer. Um, and I should be able to do the same thing with another camera. So that's what I did. I accepted the challenge. I thought, what better way to test myself than to try photography on a piece of gear that I've never used before. Oh, my dog's eating grass again. Great. To make it easy, we decided to head into downtown Spokane and do something that we don't normally do, street photography. So I considered this shoot to be more of a challenge and not so much a review. And I, I will give my opinion on what I think of the Fuji. I just wanted to give it from the perspective of somebody who's shot on Sony. And I secretly kind of wanted to see what all the hype was about. What are you shooting on? I'm um, trying out the Fuji tonight. Somebody keeps telling me that it's like one of the coolest things ever. So we're going to give it a go. This is the 100 X106. So, nailed it. Here we go. So we started the night out at Manitou Park and we wanted to start there just to kind of get the initial shots underneath our belt and out of the way, just to get the yips, I guess, out of the way. And what better place to start out shooting Fuji than at a botanical garden? There wasn't much of a golden hour that night, but I guess golden hour really isn't such a big issue when it comes to street photography. Don't get me wrong, I will take golden hour light all day long if I could get it, but when you're doing street photography, you, you look for, well, I don't know, what do you look for? You just kind of go out and shoot. Um, but we did find some cool neon signs and took advantage of that, so. Uh, what is it about neon signs? Having a fixed focal length of 35 millimeter was very refreshing. Having to compose with my feet forced me to think differently when composing the image and it actually forced me to slow down it and to almost take part in the image. Oh, that's 
cool. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. So, going back to like, remember... It's like the roots of photography right here. Oh, I know. But, oh, where was it? Where was it? It was uh, that one park. You, me, Brian, Jill, you were with us. And we had like that one, we were like, hey, let's get like that. Oh, camera on, yeah. camera on, camera on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then from then on, it was like, Fuego, Peter, yeah, Banger. Yeah. So as we continued on, we found a cool little theater with a flashing marquee and a crowd making their way into it. We took full advantage of this and tried to get some motion blur of the cars and people as they made their way into the theater. And again, this was all handheld. I wasn't sure exactly how the stabilization would hold up when you're shooting at 1 20th of a second or slower, but I'll have to say the, the Fuji actually did pretty well. The stabilization was, was pretty good. It's not bad. I don't like the cars going right in front of me. Yeah. As we started to make our way back to the car, because we had one more stop we wanted to make before the end of the night, this cool little scene popped up of cool. a kit car rolling through the streets of Spokane. Of now. It just looked pretty cool, so took a picture. A Mario Kart. That's real life Mario Kart right there. Dude, that's Our final stops of the night were to one of the remaining Arby's old cowboy hat looking neon signs that are in Spokane. Uh, I know Dylan was like super excited to shoot this thing and when I got there I kind of figured out why. It's, it's a pretty cool sign but we wanted to stop there and then I later found out that we stopped at one of the staples of Spokane restaurants that technically from what I've heard, you've never been to Spokane unless you've been to Zips.
Okay, so bottom line. What do I think of the Fuji X100 Mark VI? I like it. Could this be a replacement camera for me? Probably not. At least not professionally. Uh, but as far as a everyday carry camera, yes, 100%, I would love to have this camera. I could see this as being a replacement everyday camera. Um, the compact size, it's very indiscreet. It makes a decision of, do I take a camera with me or not? It makes that decision really easy. And I think that's the appeal of it. One, one thing that I would love to see, and I think this should be a standard across the board now, is the articulating flip screen. The image quality, the, yeah, the image quality is dead on for what I shoot. Um, my regular photo camera is the Sony a7R 3 and that has 42 megapixels, which in my opinion is more than enough and the Fuji comes in at 40, I do believe, it's like 39.9. These images were very easy to edit. Uh, honestly, it was very minimalistic adjustments. I would love to give a shameless plug for Dylan's presets. I used all of his presets to edit these images and honestly, it made it so easy. It was literally two clicks, three at the most. I would pick a preset, apply it to the image, and then adjust the exposure and they turned out fantastic. If you're curious about getting his presets, I will link that in the description below. I can't recommend these enough. They are amazing presets. He spent a lot of time on them. So make sure you go check it out. Thank you guys so much for sticking around this long. And if you like this type of content, go ahead, subscribe, hit the like button. It honestly does help out and makes a big difference. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next time, God bless.